You know, as I continue to finish building my shop, um, I, I want to make a little accent wall. And I want it to look like weathered rustic wood. And, uh, and I've got an old coat machine and a jukebox and collectibles and stuff. So I was going to make this little weathered wood little kind of corner. And if you've been around my channel a little while, you've probably seen the homemade sawmill videos I put up. I'll put a link up here somewhere. But with that sawmill, I've got lots of pine. This um, weather, it's got wormholes, little dark splotches. But it's very light colored still. Of course, I've got access to a lot of cedar and I got a lot of oak. You know, one of these three is what I'd like to use for this accent wall. First, we started by filling a mason jar with distilled white vinegar. Put white distilled vinegar. Just some white vinegar. White distilled vinegar. White vinegar. Is some distilled white vinegar, which is really cheap. So, white vinegar. Seems to be unanimous. But what about apple cider vinegar? How come it's not getting any love? This is already a darker color. I'm kind of curious, would it have any effect on the outcome of your aging? Hmm, it says here, vinegar is distilled from corn and water. Hmm, where have I heard that before? Apple cider vinegar is made from apples. I don't know, think it'll make any difference? To start our test, I've got a couple of pint-sized mason jars here, brand new. Oh, man. Some sealed from the factory or something. Some extra fine steel wool. Just gonna split it right down the middle. I've seen some people chopping this all up real fine. I don't know if that matters that much. I'm just going to put it in there like that. Put the other half in there. Oh, man. Dang, who put the cap on that one? Boy. Tell you one thing, you can smell the apple cider vinegar. It's got it seems like it's got a stronger smell to me. There we go. Probably let these things uh, cook for three or four days, five days. Okay, it's been a week. Um, I started this last weekend, and uh, kind of interesting results. I'll bring you into the close-up camera. Look at this. This is that white vinegar. It's, you see how it's still pretty much clear? If you shake it a little, there's bubbles from the bottom, which I've looked up, I think that's hydrogen. And you see all this uh, metal particles falling through the, down back through the vinegar. If you let it set, it just starts to cycle. The bubbles start carrying it right back up and it just sits there churning around. That entire pad of steel wool is almost gone. Now, in contrast, this is the white vinegar. In contrast, the apple cider vinegar, it has dissolved very little of the steel wool. The pad that's in there, it looks really swollen up and there is some of it dissolved. You can see some stuff in the bottom. But overall, it's you know quite a bit different than the, than the white vinegar. Maybe a clue, I don't know, maybe the uh, apple cider is just not near as uh, strong of an acid as uh, the white. But we'll see what it does on some boards. I'm gonna sneak one little bonus piece of wood in here. Here's a little cross cut piece of uh, walnut. Just for kicks, I'm curious what it'll do on that. Very rough chainsaw top cut so so I got laid out uh, the white vinegar will all be on this side apple vinegar on that side and um, in actual practice 
you would probably strain this stuff out, get all the medical particles out. These are just test pieces. I'm just going to go directly. Let's start with the white vinegar first. A lot of things I'm reading saying uh, it's very hard to darken pine chemically. There's not enough tannins in the wood. If I really had my choice on uh, my rustic wall, I'd rather do it with this pine because I've got a whole lot of this pine. Second choice for the wall would probably be the cedar because it's my second most abundant wood here. Then oak would be my probably my last choice for this rustic wall just because oak is so hard to cut and you have to pre-drill all your nail holes. It seems like it'd just be a lot of trouble for uh, putting it on like a rustic wall. I don't know if it's just the dampness or or what, but I'd say it's already doing something on that on that oak. It's already turning dark, instantly dark. All right, they're all pretty wet. Let's try the apple. I'll tell you, the apple definitely smells stronger. I said that the other day, but when you open the apple, you can tell it's open. Really strong vinegar smell. So I'll check back tomorrow when these are dry, see what they look like. The suspense is killing me. Wow, there's some difference on all of those. Hmm. Let's get on a tripod and look at them a little closer. Yeah, let's start right here in the middle. This is the, the oak. We've got the white vinegar on one side, the apple cider vinegar on the other. It's almost the same. I would say that the White vinegar is just a tad darker. I don't know, maybe not. It's almost a tie. I would say on the oak, I think the vinegars come out about equal. Oh, it's soaked under my tape. Well, for a color comparison, there's the vinegar and there's the, the original side. Definitely works really well on oak. For the, the walnut piece, again, uh, white on this side, apple on this side. Looks really dark. Ah, and again, it sort of soaked under my um, tape there, but you can see the original color. Again, ah, virtually the same. Can't really tell the difference. There's the original color. There's the stain. So I'd say it's a tie so far between oak and walnut on the uh, vinegar and the white. It does, has about the same effect. Here's the cedar. Um, you know, on the cedar, I would say the, the uh, white vinegar side is just a shade darker than the apple. There's the original color in the middle. Not a lot, but it is, the white is just a tad darker. Original color. Pretty close. And now the one that I really would like to work, the pine. Now on this one, I would say definitely the white vinegar darkened the pine more than the uh, apple. It's noticeably darker. Actually, that's a pretty good shade. That's kind of a good look. Pull the tape off, so. So there you see the original in the middle. It did darken it quite a bit for pine. I might be able to live with that. I kind of like it. And it took some of the brightness off of the, with the apple too. Definitely darker. See, there's the original. Okay, to wrap this up, uh, you know, I think on the woods that have a lot of natural tannins in it, like the oak and the walnut, I don't think it matters which vinegar. I think either one does about the same. As you 
come down to more like softwoods like pine and cedar, I think uh, the white vinegar does have an advantage. On cedar, it's not huge, but it is pretty noticeable on the pine. The other deciding factor may be that the uh, apple vinegar costs a little more than the white. So you're not really gaining much. There's no sense spending the money. The, uh, there's not enough difference. So maybe this will help you decide on your projects uh, as a cheap way of staying in some wood, some artificial age. I'm really hoping to use the pine. I think I kind of like this color. This may be what I go with. See you on the next one.